distinguished guests, distinguished Nigerians, ladies and gentlemen, today the pathways of the uncommon emerge once again. The 2006 Nigerian LNG Award. Compares of the event have set the stage for the celebration of our heroes and legends. The winner in each category of the award, the science or the literature prize, will go home with $20,000. So far, winners have emerged only in each of the categories in the preceding years of the award. In 2004, the science prize was jointly won by Professor Susu and Dr. Bonime. There was no outright winner for the literature prize. In 2005, the duo of Gabriel Okara and Professor Zenwa Heto won the Literature Prize, and no winner emerged for the Science Prize. Sadly though, Professor Heto passed on shortly after winning the award. The 2006 awards therefore leaves one question to be answered. Will there be winners in both categories? As we wait for the verdict, the Managing Director of the Nigeria LNG, Dr. Chris Hayes, provides an insight on the future of the awards for science and literature. Three years of the Nigeria Prize for Science and the Nigeria Prize for Literature, are they achieving their purpose? It will be presumptuous of me to think that I know the answer, so I will not attempt. I will, however, attempt to clarify our intentions in setting up these prizes. The Nigeria Prize for Literature and the Nigeria Prize for Science are Nigerian awards Entrusted by Nigeria LNG Limited, the Nigeria Academy of Science, and the Literature Committee, made up of eminent writers, critics, scholars, and publishers. These bodies assess the worth of the scientific discoveries and contemporary works of literature that have been submitted for these prizes, and in doing so, hopefully consolidate the need of the publishing and academic worlds, boosting sales of the award winner and simultaneously affecting the change in Nigerian canon. On the whole, we in NLNG think the prizes have made an impact, even if only to show our compatriots that sponsorship of science and literature is a good and fashionable business. The rash of prizes coming in our way attests to this. It therefore gives me great pleasure to announce on behalf of the board and management of Nigeria LNG Limited that from next year onwards, the cash value of the two prizes will increase to $30,000 each. By this announcement, the Nigeria LNG has once again raised the stakes even higher. In the 2007 edition, therefore, the total prize money for grabs will be $60,000. And that calls for celebration. <laughs> The Crown Troupe is a theatre group that tells its story using the medium of dance, music and drama. Tonight, their performance is titled Exodus. They are taking a swipe at the brain drain phenomenon in Nigeria.
if Jeffrey Archer and say our next guest that the speaker of the keynote address, I am sure he would have fittingly described her as the first among equals, first female senior advocate of Nigeria, Sam. Chief Fulanga, please come up. In this discourse, an attempt will be made to articulate where to locate the phenomenon called globalization. audience, consisting of the great and the good in the society, represents the global community at its best. Is this convergence of humanity not a blessing? I applaud the colossal efforts, and I'm looking at Dr. Hayes, I applaud the colossal efforts of NLNG to reduce gas flares in the Niger Delta through the environmental, <laughs> even though the environmental catastrophe still persists. When one considers the, vot the, volatility, the volatility in the Niger Delta today, with the violence, kidnapping, and insecurity caused by the frustration of the exploited people, globalization wears an ugly mask. The instability prompted Wale Shoyoka to collaborate with his fellow Nobel laureates to establish an independent laureate commission to investigate the mayhem in the Delta region and in other oil polluter regions of the world with a view of finding the solutions to the ecological disasters and the eternal revolt of the cheated people. Think globally. Act locally. Think globally. Act locally. Another globalization propaganda. Let us concentrate on the meaning inherent in that global slogan, which is being bandied around in the media by commentators in Nigeria and everywhere. The psychology of education demands that a child is best taught in his or her own indigenous language which relates to his or her environment. And I'm not guessing this, I'm a trained teacher. Nigerians, Nigerians especially the Yoruba people, must reverse the trend of teaching their children to speak only in English. Our own Wale Shoyinka and Chinua Achebe, two of the most globally celebrated exponents of the English language. They are fluent in Yoruba and Igbo, respectively. In conclusion, permit me to say there's no space to address other issues such as global terrorism and the health hazard posed by tobacco. Suffice it for me now to congratulate LNNG, LNNG for its commitment to corporate, corporate social responsibility in the sphere of one, environmental restoration, two, the community life of the people, three, the promotion of their culture, including marriages. Three, scholarship through the science and poetry high-profile competitions. Give and <laughs>